Some time ago, Life magazine referred to this guest, Prophet Jones, head of the Church of Universal Triumph, Dominion of God Incorporated, as, and we quote, the Detroit evangelist who preaches good faith and gleans its happy rewards. It goes on to describe him as a celibate, a teetotaler, and a mystic. Was all that true? Well, they said it. I don't know whether it's true or not. Are you a celibate, a teetotaler, and a mystic? I never compliment on myself. I always let my life speak for what I am. Well, how would uh, Life magazine know whether or not you were a celibate unless you told them? I didn't tell them. They just took a guess? They just took a guess. Uh -huh. Would you like to hold your hands up in front of the camera? Both of them? <laughs> Just uh, put your hands there on the table, if you will, Prophet, and we'll uh, get a closer picture of the... What would you uh, estimate the value of those rocks to be, sir? I don't know. They were given to me by my members. Well, what's that big chunk on the... next to your pinky there? That's a topaz. Topaz. That's my birthstone. How many carrots is that? Fifty-one. Fifty-one carrots. And how about, you've got bracelets, and what are, are these love offerings or love gifts? They are love uh, gifts, sir. What, what did you do to justify getting those? Well, after I pray for people, uh -huh. uh, they are so glad. They know that they cannot pay God or me for my prayers to God in their behalf. So... They'll go away and come back and bring a gift and give it to me. I see. And say, I accept it. Uh -huh. What was the story about you when they opened up that secret room you had and they found a bed covered with bags of money? That was a lie. It was? Yes, sir. You know, the police over there don't say it was a lie. Yes, sir. They're still sticking to that story. No, sir. They, they, they haven't turned up any bed in my house and found money. They, they said that you didn't want them to go into that room, and when they went there into that room... only one room I didn't want them in, and that was my mother's room that she passed in. And they said they went into a room, and there they found a, a, a bed covered with bags of money that had just come from various collections that you had taken. No, sir. No? No, sir. No, sir. We just spoke to them in the past 24 hours, and they still say that. I'm, I'm sure of that because I was sitting in, in the house. Wasn't there something about you and uh, uh, I may be wrong about this, but a long time ago in a drinking fountain, a special drinking fountain, no, huh? No. Over there in the around Detroit. No. No. Tell me, Prophet, how many people do you have a religious hammerlock on? I don't have a religious ha hammerlock on anybody. Well, you must have uh, have something on them because I mean people just don't come up and, and drop that kind of loot in the doorway and run because well, they don't like you. No, that is true, too. But I don't have a hammer lock on anybody. And just like any other minister... People, oh, you're not just people, like any other minister now. You know that. I